Good morning fellow option traders, this is Jeff and you're watching the Daily Scan for Thursday, April 3rd, 2014 without commercial interruption. Alright, yesterday's announcements, the ADP employment report missed by a tad, factory orders, factory orders I forgot, Are they up? Yeah, factory orders were up a tad. And petroleum status report, um, I don't know what it means. I don't know if up or down is good or bad. I have no idea. I don't pay a whole heck of a lot of attention to it. For today, we have international trade and jobless claims, both biggies at 8.30. And then the ISM non-manufacturing index at 10 o'clock all right let's take a jump on our airplane and head out across the Pacific and we are looking at a mixed markets over there some up some down so what's the average zero and in Europe uh, everything is a tad bearish not all that bad pretty much across the board there. Uh, let's see here. Anything of interest on here? I didn't really look to see if there was. Yeah. Um, yeah, see, there's a lot of money floating around and you have to follow the money. So when the money heads towards politicians, well, I don't know. I said no commercials, right? Okay. So that's it for the markets. The international markets. Looking here in the U.S., we have, well, looks like a pretty flat opening as of right now. Gold is still below our 1300 mark, and oil continues to slide. No pun intended although the slide has slowed down. All right, um, let's take a look here. I didn't do anything yesterday. I thought that I would let you know. And also I wanted to let you know that Google had their, that wasn't a stock split, but what they did was they divided their shares up between Class A and Class C shares. And so the Class A shares are G-O-O-G-L, and that's their symbol. Let's First, let's take a look at uh, the Class C shares. If we switch over here, we can see that it says Google Inc. Class C. And if we go to G-O-O-G-L, those are the Class A, and those will not be traded, I don't believe. Um, normally, I think you have to be, I don't know, an insider of sorts to get the Class A's. So we'll just stick with the regular old Goog, and that's a, what we will be looking at. Now, I'm pretty sure I had my settings set so that I wouldn't be seeing these uh, mini options here, uh, which is, you know... Um, uh, G O O C V. Uh, yeah, it's kind of confusing. I'm, I have to check my settings. I haven't done that yet. And you can see that we have no data here for the weeklies where we have our calendar, which is at 1090. So, um, not sure exactly what's going to happen. We'll have to wait until we get closer to the open to see if Thinkorswim is going to fix this up or not. All right. So this is what the chart looks like. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I don't know if this is equivalent, going to be equivalent to a stock split, but now it's telling me that, you know, over the last week, it's been really down here. So things are a little goofy. Maybe they need to run some batch jobs or something on their servers to get this straightened out and then they're just not done yet. That would be my guess. 
So I'm going to be patient about that until we get a little bit closer to um, the open of the market. All right, we'll start out with Apple here. Um, we're up here into our target area for a possible bear call. Still not exactly sure if I would do anything like that, but still put a target up here, assuming that we are kind of in a general downtrend. Yeah, I don't know. It's, Apple's just really confusing to me right now. Amazon, however, is a little bit of a different story, and we're coming up here into our target area for a CSSV2 trade and or a 20 delta if you guys want to pile in with 20 deltas at that point that's fine too Boeing as a matter of fact if I do get a signal like that I might just do both and then we can compare the performance that might be an interesting experiment uh, but we do continue here, or we do have a setup on Boeing. No, we don't. We don't have a... Our green line did not come from... It's going to at least hit this 30. I mean, preferably the 20, but it's going to at least hit the 30. So there's nothing going there. Plus, we might be looking at a trend reversal here with a... Um, Exponential moving average is ticking up the last couple of days. So stay away from that one for now. Baidu. We do have a setup on Baidu. Interesting day. A big swing at the open. And then we ended up just a tad down. So we have another day happening on this setup. All right, sell gene. Uh, that is setting up very nice. So a nice pop into the cloud layer here. So noted, Chipotle. We are in Chipotle for another day. Uh, we have a red down here, but we don't have a red down on the MACD. So we will live to fight another day here. And I can't really tell you uh, what my sense is on this. I don't, I don't really know what it's going to do here. Although a lot of times a bounce off the 50 and then a move up is a strong continuation move. Uh, we'll see if that holds true or not. So we're not doing anything with that today. Or at least not so far today. Okay, Costco. Um, still looking for that entry here. They are on, in a huge correction here. Look at this open. Uh, that's pretty amazing. Actually open, they gapped up that high. No, that's pre that's pre market. Yeah, that was a pre market print. The half hour before, if we were to expand this. It's not definitely not showing up here. So actually if we look over here, wow it <laughs> way up there. Anyway, um still looking for a opening to get in on this safely. I could do a calendar here. When is there earnings? We don't see earnings out here anywhere. We had it back here in uh, March, so we're looking at June for earnings on them, so that's quite a ways out. IV percentile is only 23%. All right. So we want to sell IV, high IV, and buy low IV. So a calendar might be a good thing. So what are we looking at here? So if, um, we're not looking at anything really fantastic. 
regular expiration is at 18 and then the following week is 15 and the May expiration is 17 so it's not looking real good for a calendar actually alright let's go to CVX and we do have that calendar down here at 110 probably not going to get down there I was going to get out of this yesterday and I decided to wait one more day do we have a CSS V2 trade here see this is this is still is kind of it amazes me actually that the 50 MA is still red even with this way up here uh, seems really strange to me but we have a violation here so we do not have a way to get in on a bull put here so we have to take this out we need another move up here and then come down so nothing going on there DIA let's take a look at the Dow uh, we have a high here at least for this chart which I think is a year which is probably a new high so I'm assuming the Dow hit a new high. I didn't watch much stuff on TV yesterday. Uh, okay, Igor had their split. They're at 99. All right, now it's playable. Look at this IV percentile. Woo. Um, still not really giving us any sort of swings going on here. So this is a relentless march up. And it just doesn't give us an opportunity. FedEx. We still have that put. That long put. And we are looking at a setup here on FedEx. And we're in a downtrend, a nice solid green line sustained for over a period of four days. One, two, three, four. And looking for a hook down on both the Stochastic and the MACD. Gold. into our target area we're not even going to bother looking at Google IWM giving us anything uh, yes but not yet we need a little pullback here and we can hop on that one LinkedIn we are in that trade made a nice move down thank you thank you yesterday uh, let's see what happens here. Let's hope that we get a stronger move down today. Give me a little bit more of a cushion here on LinkedIn. And pull some more money out of those guys. MasterCard. Uh, MasterCard, we got a hook on the Stochastic. And we are waiting for it on the MACD. So that's still a setup for today. You know, a move down at the open, I'll put alert on this because a move down at the open, I'm sure, will give us a hook down on the MACD and it'll give us the confirmation that we're looking for. So I'm going to set an alert here. Alrighty, Triple M. Uh, we need a move down here to give us an entry. trend though I'm still thinking that we are I mean it has broken through this previous resistance I get goofy stuff on this 50 MA again beginning to trust the SMA a little bit more just because it's a little bit earlier 
So anyway, uh, still looking for a move down here to give us a setup. Netflix uh, moving up smartly into our setup area. Price line. Um, price line, what are we doing here? Price line we might be back into an up move. So we might be into a trend, a change in that trend. So we're waiting patiently. NASDAQ uh, had a very nice day. So we're going to put a target in here. We do have an, our bullseye. So we're looking for that. S&P. Uh, pretty much the same story. Just waiting on that one. Tesla, we were looking at... I think that was a 20 delta that we threw in yesterday that may be working out quite well. That would have been at the 205 level and I didn't lock in the price. I forget what the price was yesterday but that one may be working out quite well. And Visa. Alright, Visa's in a downtrend. We got, it was sitting up here for a setup yesterday, and it is now alertable. So we're going to put an alert below this low, and then we will also watch it. So we're not going to depend 100% on the alert. So in conclusion, things are, because of these flatness here, uh, things are changing pretty rapidly and pretty much if you don't catch this hook right away You're probably not going to be successful because it's going to reverse on you very quickly You know, it's a it's a pretty crazy market and I've been hearing more about this high frequency trading uh, so um, it's a bit of a struggle for us small-time investors or traders, I guess you should say. So anyway, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.